Okay. Have you ever been having sex and it just keeps going and 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 you're like, oh my god, when am I going to come? I know some of you have because you send me a lot of emails about it. Today's episode is on delayed ejaculation for male bodies. able to get off with masturbation but having a harder time if you can do it at all with sex is pretty common. Possible causes? One, it could be a side effect of medications. Two, I don't want to focus on what you can't fix and if you're able to get off with masturbation but not sex this obviously indicates that there's a way to fix this problem. But for those of you who are planning to be moms and dads in the future, remember that circumcision can actually exacerbate this problem because you're cutting off a bunch of nerve endings and decreasing their sensitivity. But the two that I'm going to focus on today are three psychological causes, the most common of those being nerves, guilt, and performance anxiety. And lastly is number four, masturbation technique and frequency, which I will get to in just a second. Never underestimate the sheer power of that mushy thing in your head. For good or for evil. Tip one, try not to worry about this. I know that's asking a lot, but worrying about it can actually just make it worse. Tip two, remind yourself, orgasm isn't everything. Tip three, try to open up the lines of communication with your partner. You might be surprised at how many of your sex concerns can be cleared right up by simply feeling comfortable enough to talk about it. More often than not, this problem is actually caused by having a death grip on your penis when you masturbate. And then you go to have sex and surprise, vaginas and anuses don't have a death grip. So here's a solution that I know has worked for guys with this problem, but it takes some serious dedication. That's because the first step is not to masturbate for two weeks. <gasps> I know, it's intense, but you, you are capable of doing this. I believe in you. Kinda. When you're doing the same thing over and over, your body can condition itself to only respond to one thing. So basically what you need to do is to retrain your penis. When you start masturbating again, use your off hand, grip loosely, and use lots of lube. Now, to make this a little bit more effective, try to find a good balance for you. For instance, I know some people who, if they know they're gonna be having sex, they don't masturbate for two or three days beforehand. Tip three, when you're having sex, use extra thin condoms, or if you're in a committed relationship, go with your partner, get tested, and become fluid bonded so you don't have to use condoms anymore. And tip four, open up to new kinds of pleasure to supplement. For instance, why aren't more peeps into prostate massages? Now, I know that a lot of people shy away from prostate stimulation because they've been told that it's gay or gross, but I'm telling you it's not gay unless you want it to be, and it's not gross, and it is really an untapped world of pleasure for male bodies. If you're into prostate stimulation, testimonial time down below. Go. Now, if you're curious, want a little more information or maybe some tips to get started, I have a bonus video for you. Link in the description. Anyways, that's all for today. Thank you for watching Sex Plus on Saturdays and sharing it with your friends. I really do appreciate it. I love you all, and I will see you on Wednesday with a new video.